what can I say apart from that was so, awful, awful so disappointing. It's probably the worst performance I've seen us under Emery. That was awful. The worst? Probably, probably yeah. If you go back to May 2018, have we improved, Robbie? I don't think so. That was awful, Robbie. It was poor from the manager. It was poor from the players. I'm going to make this statement. Without Sabayos and Aubameyang, we would be a mid-table slash bottom half team. It's true. And probably Leno. Those three players, we would be a worse than average team. Socrates, not good enough. Luis, not good enough. Maitland Niles, not good enough. The whole back four are not good enough. Xhaka, probably one of the worst players I've seen in an Arsenal shirt. Not good enough. Gwendozi, he'll have one good game here, one awful game here. It's, it's not good enough, Robbie. Pepe, I'm, it's too early to judge, but he needs to also, you know, we, we can't let him off the hook. Why should we let him off the hook? What, what is, let's be honest, what has he done these first five games, Pepe? He's not done much. Well, he's, he's, listen, he's, how many full games? Well, that, that's what I'm saying. But, is that his third but, full game? Robbie, third? the way, when we, look, let's put it this way. None of our, our fan base had seen him play before, correct? I, I'd seen we, him play okay, before. Okay, 90% I, I have of seen him I haven't seen him play before. Everyone yeah. got... Hyped off it because he's got he's signed for 75 million. You've got to give, it, you've got to give, give him time. time. Yeah, I'm I mean, going to give him time, but other we players could be, have been I could running. be interviewing you this time, no, say at Christmas but or January, and you could be saying, oh "Other my players God, what have a player. hit the ground running, like time. James for Man U and Abraham for Chelsea." They hit the, the ground running. didn't. Yeah, but the Henri well, we didn't. Talk, and these are some of the greatest ago. players ever to wear I'm, I'm Arsenal not, I'm not shirt, calling so him out saying he needs rubbish and all that. I've never said that. I'm just saying we need more from him. We can't, not every player hits the ground running, yes, though, is it? it's true, it's true. But we can't. If I'm digging out everyone else, it's only fair, you know, he mm. gets some of the blame. Oh, but the difference between us and Watford is that we would have got hammered that game if we didn't have a class striker. We've got a world-class striker in Aubameyang. They don't have a top striker up front. That's the difference, Robbie, because they could have easily scored five, six goals. Even when we were 2-0 up, I said to my friend next to me, I said, look, the difference is Aubameyang. He'll finish chances. They're not finishing chances, and that's why we are ahead. But it was, it was poor, Robbie, and Emery's got a lot to answer for. I mean, first of all, I'm not blaming Ozil today because, mm. like I said, we, like, we don't expect Ozil to perform in these, these games. So and I'm he's only he's his first Yeah, game yeah, you can't dig him out season. because I knew he wasn't going to perform today, so there's no point saying this, that. But why would, number one, why did Emery start Ozil today? He shouldn't have started Ozil in a physical away game. Number two, why is he taking off our uh, probably our best player uh, first sub? Yeah, why? No, was a why why was he? Us. His subs have been very strange, Robbie. And last season, I always said I'm giving Emery one season. If he messes up the first season, I'm not going to say Emery this, Emery that. But the second season, if he messes up, then you've got to start asking the questions. So how long and do you give season? him? How long do you give him now? You've got to look at it in December. In December, I'm not saying sack him now. That would be mm. obviously December. Um, no, yeah, I'd, I'd say I'd look at it in December. And if we're fourth, I'd say all right, you know, stick with him. But if we're sixth, seventh, Robbie, you've got to really look at it because Robbie, he hasn't done. Look, Robbie, he spent 150 million. He has bought six players this summer. What's the excuse? I agreed everything what Turkish was saying, apart from when he said you've got to blame Kroenke. Why should we blame Kroenke? He gave us £150 million to spend. He said, you spend £150, you buy your players. We've bought the players, but they're not performing the players. It's not just Emery, it's the players as well. This season, Robbie, I would say Aubameyang has been good probably every game. Sabayos has been brilliant, but who else, Robbie, has stood out to you? It's, it's a problem within the players, right? I know people will either blame the, only the players or the manager. It's a collective problem of both. But the players, Robbie, are, I'm afraid they're, they're not good enough, Robbie. These players, I've said it for last year, I've said these players aren't good enough. And I, I don't know what it is because we've signed £150 million worth of players. But like Maitland Niles was, look, no one was helping him. But he was struggling today. You saw Robbie. He was struggling against the Delafeo. Delafeo is a skillful player. He was tearing him apart. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't good enough, Robbie, today. And. He's a, yeah, he's a, he's a very good player. I'd take him at Arsenal. I would take someone like him at Arsenal because he's so skillful. He's better than what we have, but it's, I don't know. It's just we need to now start hitting the ground running. Otherwise, yeah, we're gonna, it's just going to be same old, same old. And yeah.